What does the phrase broaden your horizon mean? When someone tells you to broaden your horizons, they're really issuing a challenge, a challenge to expand your view, your experiences, and your outlook on life. Think about it literally for a second. The horizon is that line where the earth meets the sky as far as you can see. It's your visual limit. Now, depending on where you stand, that could be a very narrow or an insanely wide view. If you're nestled between buildings or forest thickets in Portland, your horizons might be pretty restricted. But if you stand atop the majestic vistas of the Columbia River Gorge, your horizons stretch on as far as the eye can see. Applying this to life, it's all about stepping beyond what's familiar. It's thinking globally instead of locally. It's trying Thai food when all you've ever known is meat and potatoes. It's engaging with ideas and beliefs that run perpendicular to your own. Maybe it's picking up a book on quantum mechanics instead of zoning out to reruns on TV. Or it's finally taking that sign language class because the idea of silent communication fascinates you. When you broaden your horizons, you're actively shaking up your brain, inviting new patterns of thought, embracing the unfamiliar. It's healthy. It's growth. It's the antithesis of stagnation. And here's the kicker. It's not always comfortable. But hey, growth rarely is. It's often in those uncomfortable moments where your horizons are stretching that you find the most meaningful and transformative experiences. So to whoever is looking for that horizon-expanding quest, whether you're in Portland or Peoria, take the leap. Learn a new skill. Travel to a place where no one knows your name. Listen with the intent to understand, not just to reply. That's how your horizons broaden, with a blend of curiosity and the courage to step outside what you know.